After meeting in the finals last season, the Athena Blue Eagles and the UP Fighting Maroons battled it out again this weekend to close out the first round of eliminations in the UAP Men's Basketball Tournament. But before we talk about that upcoming big game, let's talk about past matchups between the two Katipunan schools. And joining us today to reminisce are Vaughn Pesumal and Laura Lehman of Ateneo and Martin Reyes and Ricky Flores Reyes of UP. Hello, guys. Hey. This is not a Valentine's Day episode, by the way. <laughs> We're talking about the Battle of Katipunan, and I know you're excited to talk about a big game, mm -hmm. but let's look back first. So, uh, I'll, start, I'll start with the UP couple, sure, okay? Sure. So, Bakit? Ilang years na since you, the two of you were in the UAP? Ten. ten it's been a good ten. ten years. One decade already. Wow. Yeah. Ten wow. years. Oh my gosh. So, can you tell our viewers what Ateneo versus UP was like during your time? You first? Oh, okay. uh, during our time back in 2006, that was my rookie year. Uh, wala. Uh, I played for five years first for UP. So our record was uh, against Ateneo was 9-1. So nine wins Ateneo, <laughs> one Salmon. And you know, ever since we were always the underdogs, uh, we were always the other schools from Katipunan. So uh, across Katipunan. So always had a chip on our shoulder, pero wala. Talagang powerhouse always eh. uh, at, at name, has been a powerhouse ever since so yeah so Martin was playing and Ricky was courtside not yet not yet when you started ni pa. I was just a spectator you were so just when he watching. started his career hindi ka pa courtside no? ni pa. You, you waited for the last what the last two years the last yeah the, the last, last two years so as a, as a spectator and eventual courtside yeah what was the battle of Katipunan like for you as a spectator sarap Set up to watch Battle of Katipunan games because you could get tickets anywhere. <laughs> People were selling you tickets, trying to get rid of no, them. No, they were giving you tickets. They were, yeah, they yeah, were, giving, they were, it away, they were yeah. giving it away. You could sit anywhere. Free seating, sha! Free seating, sha! Um, and, uh, you know, uh, we had friends who would watch the games religiously, like at the KC, if at the KC is watching. Um, but yeah, they would have banners. And litaw na litaw talaga siya because they were the only ones in the stands. So that's how it was. That's how it was back in the day. And now, fast forward to like 10 years later, pahira pa na. Times have changed. Can't get tickets. They're always sold out. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. You guys are so lucky. I love my tickets, kayo, so. We do. We have tickets. Congratulations! For Congratulations! <laughs> yeah. Hear up, hear up, kumuan and ticket. I know. That's why. Thank you very much. We worked hard for that. <laughs> hard. Okay, let's go to the Ateneo couple. Uh, Von Pesumal. When did you last play for Ateneo? 2016. That's like three years ago, I think. Relatively recently. But it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. Tagal na since you last played. Since PBA. Okay, well, maybe that's why you've been busy winning championships. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what was the Battle of Katipuna like during your your time in the UAP? Um, well, I don't think it was much different than what Ricky said uh, earlier. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't UP's prime era uh, during the time I was courted and he was, when he was playing. So, um, yeah, very different from how it was today. Um, I remember it wasn't really a rivalry, um, but I felt like we were on the same side because we kind of were next to each other and all the other schools were on the other side of the, you know, the U-Belt near Manila, right? So I kind of felt like we were on the same side like most of the time, especially when it's like, if UP is playing against another team, I would be like, hey, I want UP to win, or you know, like, so. Yeah, I think they were cheering for yeah, UP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone was cheering wait, for did UP. Did you have a teammate that was playing for UP? Yeah, I, I had several teammates. Yeah. Uh, Paolo Romero. Yeah, yeah I those, think that's why. Yeah. I have, and we're, we're next to each other, so we see each other in Katipunan sometimes. We're, we're friends, so I, feel, I felt like Where I wanted to. Where would you them. see each other? There's no UP town. Then. We're I mean, just randomly. Where would you yeah, see each other? Yeah, there's a cantina. Is that still in the time? No, no, no. Oh my gosh! No, okay. Uh, Starbucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Pancake House. Oh. Pancake House. Okay, those guys are not sponsors of the show. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, those sorry. Brands. 
Anyway, but yeah, along Katipunan, I remember actually it's a yeah. good thing that you brought that up because before Battle of Katipunan, it was really more on ah, okay, sister school, we're on the same team, yeah, it's yeah. team same Katipunan, part of Quezon City, mm-hmm. yeah, same yeah. part of Quezon. Yeah. Parang ngayon ko lang na feel na Battle of Katipunan, it's actually a battle. It's, yeah, it's right? true. Bragging rights about Bragging, it. Yeah, it's yeah. true. Yeah, I've always proposed that the winner of the Battle of Katipunan gets to change the name. Ng UP Town. So, oh. it becomes Ateneo Town Center for like a month or something. Like I don't know. But, but yeah. you feel that now na it's it's a real battle. Like, it's a rivalry now na you feel a certain tension even with your Atenean friends. Yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah. uh, maybe because UP's been on the bottom part of the of the spectrum for the last, what, uh, yeah. a half decade. Uh, Decade and a half na ata. So, syempre, uh, it's very different for us to feel na, wow, uh, co- yeah. we're competing yeah. right now. So, like on Sunday, when you see your Athenian friends, oh, iba na. Yeah. Yeah. Iba yung feeling. Uh, iba, iba, iba na, iba na when you see each other. Do, uh, do you feel that way, Vaughn? It's, it's actually a really big battle coming up soon. Especially, I think for the next couple of years, it's set up to be Ooh. like a re- couple of, like, a, a, an epic matchup because... Um, knowing if Coach Bo, Coach Bo's system is so explosive. I played for Coach Bo for three years, so his system is so explosive. Like no, anybody can just do anything at any time. So w- once once everything clicks, you never know what's gonna happen. Then of course they Ateneo, so their system is so good. But it's basketball; anything can happen. Yeah. And I think which is good also now is uh, one of maybe top three choices now UP. Right now, sa basketball, when you when you want to play for recruit for yeah, recruitment, for recruitment. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, at the Nail Lasal and because of right. you know, because of because the, the excitement, yeah. and you see, oh, see, one went there, and mm-hmm. Richie went yeah, there, yeah, and Kobe yeah, went. Sure. Okay, you know what? I think you're getting excited now. You want to talk about the game, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. so we'll take a short break. We'll still have uh, Ricky Martin Vaughn and <laughs> Laura. <laughs> I actually heard that Ricky Martin Vaughn and Laura. To talk about Sunday's big game between the UP Fire Maroons and the Athena Blue Eagles, so don't go away.